Born in 1933 to Charlie and Violet Cray, the twins had grown up on the streets around their home in Valence Road. Weaned on boxing stories from their grandfather, Cannonball Lee, a renowned fighter in his day, they soon found a channel for their energies and aggressions. Boxing had long been associated with the East End, where it was seen as one of the few ways of escaping that environment. Their older brother Charlie had been a champion in the forces and was eager to help the twins on their way. Well, I came out of the Navy and um, I started to teach them to box and in my mother's house I arranged a small gym and punch bag etc. And I trained them at the time for one year and then um, after the year was over I thought well, now it's time to take them to a, a, a boxing club which I did. And from that day on uh, they kept winning and winning and winning and they never stopped. They boxed at school, you know, boxed for the school, London ABA's junior, and they could have gone a long way, but Ronnie, I don't think his art was in it, you know? He, uh, Reggie could have gone places in boxing, but Ronnie, he was a bit of a street fighter, wasn't he? You know? In July 1951, the twins turned professional, and after just six fights, they went through to the finals of a major competition. Reggie was proving to be a potent and skillful opponent, but Ronnie had become wild and overly aggressive in the ring. Nonetheless, they were both on the verge of notable success when conscription cut short their professional careers. They was only there, I think, one day. And they came home and I said, what's wrong? You've been allowed out. They said, no, I'm not having people like that scream and shout at me. I think, really, they just resented it from the beginning and they didn't give themselves time um, to accept it. And they came home and they threw their uniforms away and they never went back until it was caught, obviously. The twins spent eight months on the run from the army, lost to the police in the underworld of the East End. After their recapture, they were sent to a military prison at Shepton Mallet. confidence and prosperity swept the country. It was a blossoming economy that greeted the twins on their dishonorable discharge from the army in 1953 and they were quick to seize upon it. They took over the Regal, a rundown billiard hall not far from their home, and quickly adapted to the local style of business. There was five Greek guys one day came and started demanding money of the menaces from them and uh, Johnny chased him all over Mile End with a sword. And that got about what, like wildfire, which it does uh, in the East End, and um, they never got arrested over it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please join our Facebook group. It's called Praise Crime Lords of London. We're a friendly moderated group with over 1,000 Cray and other celebrated gangster videos available for view. There's also thousands of images in the photos sections. The link for the group is in the YouTube description section. I hope we see you.